Hey guys, it is Kate. Welcome back to my channel and how are you guys? I am back with a makeup tutorial today. I haven't did this kind of video for such a long time that I don't even remember what is the last makeup tutorial. The wedding one, I guess. Anyway, it is early autumn right now. The weather is feeling cooler and I think for early autumn, makeup should be really light and simple and fresh. And this is really a very simple makeup for daily use as well. So if you like to know how this makeup look is done, please keep watching. And so let's get started. In order to prep for a light and fresh makeup, we need a well moisturized skin for foundation. So I wipe my face with my favorite toner. Massage your face with moisturizing cream. Recently, I am using the Age Defines Cream from Attitude House. For no special reason though, this is just a tester I recently received. I like to put on lip sleepy mask before I start any makeup and wipe it up before I put on lipstick so that my lips will be thoroughly moisturized since I always do my lips makeup at the end. You guys know how much I like the Echo Safety Daily Sunblock from Innisfree because my skin is very sensitive to SPF and this is one of the few sunblocks that doesn't break my skin out. I decided to use this primer to prime my face this time because it controls oil very well and gives subtle semi match finish that is very susceptible for this full makeup look. Today, I used the Hera UV Mist Cushion. It is not too shiny, not too matte, and match what I want my skin to look for this makeup. The puff in the cushion though applies a very thick layer of foundation, so instead of the puff, I applied it with a real technique sponge. Then I contoured my face with the Art Class by Rodin Shading from Too Cool For School. This is one of the most famous products from this brand and I like how functional it is to be with three different shades for a different skin tone and different shading area. Also, those shading with any sheer shine effect makes the skin look much more oily so I recommend it who have acne prone skin type as I do to use matte shading powder. For blush, I just do what I always do with Dandelion from Benefit. Use a puffy brush and slightly tape the blush on the cheek and link to the side where I just did the shading. For brows, always my for all time favorite brows powder from Sun and Park palette. My all time to go brows are natural flat brows. Firstly, draw in a line on the bottom and fill in the brows with short strokes. And then I'm going to put on a little bit loose powder on the eyelids. This helps to keep the eye makeup stay longer. Today's eye makeup is extremely easy. We only put on one shingle shadow on the lids. This shade is a lovely pink shade with cool undertone. If you have more warm or yellowy toned skin than mine, you may mix this with a lightly yellowy brown shade for a better tone matching. Simply apply it over the lid and slightly through the crease as well. And then I use this smaller pointed brush to go over the lower lash line with the same shade. Then I'm taking this milky ivory shade from MAC in the shade Toast to highlight the inner corners. Next, I'm using Kate Slim Eyeliner to draw my eyeline today. The point is to make it super thin and not too long. And so that's a wrap with the eyes makeup as well. I curl my lashes and put on a very thin layer of mascara. The lips product I used today is this lovely coral shade from YSL. So thank you for watching to the end. If you like this video, please do not forget to thumb it up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. So see you next time in my next video. Bye!